all right there YouTube so we're getting ready to uh, make another video here uh, I had a really good Barcher raid uh, earlier today um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys just in case you're uh, wondering what a really good way to do Barcher is um, before we start I'd like to uh, just introduce the clan uh, myself I am Dominus uh, I also have DCC in this clan so uh, I really like just uh, being able to feed my, my troops from my, my big town into my little town. And um, this is the town layout that I'm using on, on both my accounts, um, the Dominus accounts. And uh, it's, it's a pretty solid layout. Uh, it offers really good um, air coverage here, as you can see. And then uh, my expos here, uh, they really lay down the cover fire for when someone comes in to try to get them. So... Uh, like I said, if, if you like it, you know, please use it. It makes uh, Clash of Clans better. Uh, you know, and if you're not and you're just looking around, go give it a whirl, and I bet you you're going to like it. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, shout out, uh, say hi to YouTube here. Um, and uh, with that, we're going to go ahead and show you this attack that I got. Um, right now... Uh, money's pretty good over here in, uh, 1482. I like to stay between, like, 1150 and 1400, but as money starts to dry out, I tend to push up kind of high. And as you can see here, I I'm literally just raping and pillaging. Uh, I wish I would have shared this replay right here with you guys. It was massive loot, uh, and I got it with, like I said, Barcher, and I've kind of modified it a little bit. I threw some giants in there, a couple wall breakers, um... But as you can see, I mean, I, I don't have a whole lot of elixir in the attack, and I just straight raped and pillaged and took everything that I wanted. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you this uh, this replay I got here, um, and uh, I'll let you be the judge. So we're going to take a look here at this base. Um, before we get started, uh, I'd like to just show you what I see when I look at it. Um, I see right here, here 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 and here I see some pretty big problems um, it's gonna be hard to get your uh, barbarians and archers to penetrate into those walls with that level of archer tower there so I'm gonna show you how I managed it um, I was pretty sure that there wasn't gonna be much in his clan castle due to all the graves that he's got all up in here um, but you never know so I like to go and uh, go in very slowly and I like to sprinkle the troops and I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute so, I wanted to go ahead and uh, take out that elixir storage. I don't like when my troops get uh, diverted into the wrong direction. And then as you can see here, I'm attacking over here and over here. Um, I really want to clear that area out so that later on, uh, when I go into my attack, I don't have to worry about coming up here to get that easy money. So, I put some, uh, some heat on that, that king and, uh, you know, go right in. It took me a little while to, uh, to get in there because I really didn't want to send in too many troops. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I'm slowly draining out all of those, uh, those collectors. And again, I'm just using minimal, minimal troops. I want to get the most out of each troop that I use. Uh, it's very rare that I send in the horde just because of all the splash damage. Um, but as you can see now, I'm starting to clear and soften up uh, my entry points into this base. Um... So I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to sprinkle a couple troops here and there. Um, and then that's when I, I kind of thought about it. And what I saw was a great opportunity. So I'm going to pause it real quick. So as you can see here, I'm coming in on this uh, southwest side. Uh, my idea is to basically blow up each of these walls uh, as these troops or as my king gets targeted by these um, defenses. So... I sent in my giant uh, to, to soak up some of that damage because I didn't really want to go in too hot and too heavy just yet. Um, and then as you can see here, uh, it's really working good. So the giant's right up here. Uh, he's doing his business. He's soaking up that damage. And I'm starting to send in a little more troops. But look, I still have plenty of troops remaining. So that's the key to really barching really good is you don't want to just send in all of your troops all at once because they will get splash damage, especially by these wizard towers over here. Um, king going in. So now I start taking out some of these walls. I send in the queen right behind him. I don't want the queen in there with the king. Um, 
she might come in a little bit, but as you can see, the path is just being opened up. And I'm taking out each of these walls. I send in a couple giants to soak up even more damage. Take out some more of these walls, and it's working really good for me. I'm raping, I'm pillaging, the king's doing his dirty, the queen's right there. Everything's looking really nice. So, I get all that money. Now, what I like to do right here, you might ask, why did I drop my heal spell? The reason I drop it is because I want to regenerate that king as fast as I can regenerate and go back in and find another sucker. Alright? So, I go ahead and drop that heal spell on that king, and then I could really start using the rest of my troops just to get this remaining money up here in the top left. So, I got plenty of uh, barbarians there, and I went ahead and sent them in, took out that collector, I'm done with that area, and then I wanted to go ahead and get this last collector. So remember what I said earlier about not clearing out the fences? I forgot to clear out that building. I sent in my remaining uh, barbarians, um, and for me, um, I'm only going to use the spells when it's beneficial. So this one collector right there had 68,000 um, gold in it. That's a lot of loot, especially when my heal spell is obviously a lot less than that. So I went ahead and I dropped my heal spell. Um, and that's just to make sure that I get that remaining money. So there you go. I got that last collector. This is the most important part of barching. So as you can see here, my king, all right, it still has about half the health. My queen, she took quite a bit of damage. But I went ahead and I ended the fight. Why did I end the fight? I really don't care about the stars. I'm not in it for the stars. I'm in it for the loot. I'm in it for the easy loot, and I'm in it to take it. So... That was a pretty good raid. Uh, it's not the normal that I would post, like 1 million or whatever. But at the end of the day, I mean, that's over 600,000 loot with 400, uh, over 400 Dark Elixir in one raid. And look at the troops I used. I used punk troops. These are, these are level 1 uh, troops. Yeah, they're kind of high on their level. But if you learn how to do this really good, you can make a lot of money really quick. And just make sure you're in the right trophy range. Like I say... Between 1150, 1400, and if you're looking for that dark elixir, you'll find less loot, but you can go all the way up to 1600. Um, that's where the really good money is for town hall, uh, you know, eights, nines, and below. Um, I really wouldn't make sure you always keep one builder that you can dump all that loot that you have into your walls. If you have really low walls, um, you're not going to be able to protect that loot. Uh, and then just make sure. Always to prioritize and get those air rockets really high. I preach it all the time to my clan. Let me see if any of them shouted back. So, yeah, we got a couple there. Uh, why, hi, uh, do you have YouTube? Obviously, yes, I have YouTube. But um, with that, uh, I just want to go ahead and show you the clan that we have again here. It's Slob on my Gob. Um, it's a new season, so you can't really see. We, we, we donate a lot. We're really active. Um, I'm Dominus of Slob on my Gob. Uh, if you're interested in joining the clan, please come on down, check us out. Uh, we're really uh, we're an easy clan to get get along with, and uh, you know we don't we don't really play you know a lot of those little kid games and stuff. So uh, there's the rules of the clan. So Elder at 200 if loyal. We don't really like rush towns. We will take you if you're just a little rushed. But you know at the end of the day, we want players that are active and that really know what they're doing. Um, you must participate in the war to stay. We are an adult clan. Um, the 100 war stars, that's just something that we kind of added on because we want to make sure that someone that comes in is going to be able to really rape and pillage and get that stuff when we need it in war. So give them hell, level 60 plus, and keep your donations as even as possible. Um, again, slob on my mom, uh, gob, I'm, uh, Dominus, and with that, YouTube, I'm out.